Shot me yet? Still turn around. Just hang in there. We're gonna be okay. Last thing I wanted was to die. Anyway. Just get faster. I didn't want to go like this. Just hang in there. We're gonna be okay. I thought I was gonna die for sure. Maybe we have a hope in hell. Like we've been down this road before? Oh, 
Relax. Stay a while. <laughs> Come on. You've been so good up to this point. Oh, look at that. See how easy you can be to get along with? I wanted you to understand that. I wanted you to see that things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. Here it is. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I'm gonna spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> oh, you know, before you showed up, Everything was fucking great. And then you came along with your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something. And when you tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you. No future for any of you. coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father- Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you two need to take care of each other because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. Don't end up like him. Promise me you won't be like him. Sure, Mom. Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions. Sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. 
We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush? I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. But you, you did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. I had a thought. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having new Eden attack the highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. Didn't you meet some crazy little fucker named Irwin? If he's as close to the twins as he claims, he might be our way in. Seeing that guy. 
You want the twins, right? You want to get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's the whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? But why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. And I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. And then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. What do you know? Orange is your color. Hop in the back. Let's go. So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Well, the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen big ones. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly, the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's tight with a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. I guess without any weapons, you'll have to improvise a way to kill that motherfucker. I'll let you work out the details. Fucker. Hope it's worth a fucking while. The hell you want, little fucker? Hey, nice to see you too. Jeez. I got a prisoner with me. What do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds with their problem. Bring him in. up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die. Well, it's got a conscience, 
can dance to. Five. If you cut out their tongue, plenty of tongues where those came from. I'm not listening. Those shits gave the rabbit something, and I want to know what it is. I'm with you on that, but they can't tell you anything unless you ask more questions. Let me handle this. I know what I'm doing. I hate to barge in. We're busy. But, I know, but somebody who looks important wants to talk. How important? You're gonna want to hear this. This is. On the control. I'll handle this one. <laughs> the fuck you still doing here? Shut up,